Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome to another flight attendant vlog and welcome to my reserve month. Dun, dun, dun. Ugh, I do not know any flight attendant that likes reserve. And if they tell you they like reserve, they're lying. Today is my first day of reserve. And the way that it works is that yesterday by 3 p.m. I had to go into my little flight attendant portal and put in a bid for what I would like to do for the next day, AKA today. So I have a few options. I can have a wrap, which is a reserve availability period, which is a 12 hour period of being on call. I can look to see what trips are open, if any of them need crew, uh, and then try to bid for those trips so I know what I'm doing, which is always nice. I can try to bid for a generic trip, which means like if you have something going to Hawaii, I would like to take that, please. And the last option is standby, where I go to the airport and I sit there for six hours in case there's like a last minute emergency and they need someone right then and there. So what I got today was a wrap and I got wrap B, which is on call from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., which is okay. I mean, I prefer that one over any other ones because they won't call me in the middle of the night as they do with wrap A, which starts at 2 a.m. And if I don't get called by 6 p.m., I have the night free, which is nice. So you never know what could happen. I could get called for a trip today. I could not get called for a trip today and have an unexpected day off. I'm just gonna live my life as if today is off and just keep my phone on me at all times. You have to either answer or call back within 15 minutes or else you get in trouble. So you have to make sure you have your phone on you or you can hear it and then see what happens. Fingers crossed, whatever it is, is good. All right, hello, guess what? Back at the airport. Reserve is an interesting thing, but I'm really glad I got this trip because I was getting too freaked out about getting called. It is a two day. I'm flying to Indianapolis today, just one flight. And then tomorrow, Indianapolis to Charlotte. And then I deadhead home from Charlotte tomorrow and I'm home by 1.30. So all in all, not too bad. And then I have two days off. So it's kind of like I have two and a half days off since I get home so early. So I did not finish my makeup. Traffic was really bad this morning and I wanted to get out super early to make sure that I had enough time, which it's a good thing that I did. So I'm gonna put some mascara on and finish this this guy up here, the money maker. And then we're gonna head to the terminal. All right, I went with the bold look. Hopefully it holds up. <laughs> it's only like a five or six hour work day today, so it should. Reserve is an interesting thing. I have to do it three times a year, once every fourth month. So right now I'm doing uh, April, August, and December. It gives me anxiety every time I have to do it. Just the fact that I could be called in the middle of the night or whatever. We're out of the international terminal today, which always makes me want to non-rev and go somewhere. But to Indianapolis I go today. And it's not a very long layover. It's only about 13 hours. Tomorrow's gonna be an early day, but it's worth it to get home early. The whole crew became available last night, meaning uh, all the positions were open. So I put in for my favorite position in the back. You guys know I like it back there. And uh, I got it, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this reserve trip. Surprise, I am magically in Indianapolis. It was just like that, it was so easy. Just kidding, we did a whole three and a half hour flight. But I was working, so filming while I'm working eh, is probably not such a good idea. So here I am in my hotel room, and look, it's daytime, and I'm here. It never happens. I always like the later flights so I don't have to wake up so early. I didn't have to wake up so early today, but I just realized tomorrow I have to wake up at 2.30 in the morning, my time. Oh my God, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sucks, that really sucks. So I'm probably gonna get, if I'm lucky, three hours of sleep tonight, but it's about an hour and a half flight to Charlotte. And then like I said, we did head home to LA so I can just sleep that entire flight to LA if I want to. Too bad I didn't bring my travel pillow, which I probably should have done. Of course now it's time for, you guessed it, a murderer check. All right, no murderers in the closet. No murderers in the bathroom. I actually do really check for murderers, so. Nope, no murderers. Got two beds today. And uh, it's actually decently early. It's only 6 p.m. here, so I have lots of time tonight to just chill, probably get a workout in. 
After this trip, I have two days off and then four more days on reserve. So you never know what's gonna happen during a reserve month, I'll tell you what. All right, an update on what I'm gonna do. So I am still wearing part of my uniform, but let me share with you a little secret. Sweatpants. <laughs> Since I have this nice light, I'm gonna film a couple flight attendant TikTok videos. If you don't follow me, you should go over there and follow me right now, The Awkward Tourist. I figured since I have the makeup on and my uniform and everything, I might as well do that. And then guess what? I forgot to pack socks again. I don't know what it is about socks <laughs> in particular that is getting me over the last couple months, but I forgot to pack socks again. Luckily there is a TJ Maxx that's like a three minute walk away from here. Even though I didn't plan on really going out or doing anything on this layover, I did want to get a good workout in. I'm probably going to run over there and get some socks and keep them in my bag, I guess, <laughs> because I keep forgetting to pack them. So stupid. All right. I have changed into yoga pants, flip-flops. I'm going out with red lipstick and this crazy hair. You know what? I got to do what I got to do. TJ Maxx is a three minute walk. I know they have socks there. Hopefully I have enough self-control to not buy anything else. Also, I decided to think ahead. So I put my frozen Trader Joe's Cuban bowl in my little crock pot that I bring. So hopefully by the time I get back, that'll be nice and good to go. And I'll be able to eat dinner. I'm so glad it's not cold anymore. Yay, spring and then summer. Oh, I see it. It really was like three minutes. Nice. I don't look. <laughs> Victory! I got socks. I'm gonna go back to the hotel now. Two people have told me to smile on the street. One was a man and one was a woman. So I don't know if I just have a massive case of RBF or what's going on, but if I walked around like this, I would look like a psycho. So I don't know. <laughs> But I probably look like a psycho talking into this camera anyway, so whatever. I wasn't even gone long enough for my dinner to be warm, so I had to wait a little while. And now that I've sat down on the bed, I don't want to get up. <laughs> I was planning on a really good workout, and that's why I got the socks, but I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. We'll see. Spoiler alert, I did end up going to the gym. Got some looks with this full face of makeup on. Now it's sweating off me and I desperately need a shower. So shower next and then some computer work and then going to bed because I have to wake up at 2.30 California time tomorrow. Hmm. I doubt I'm gonna get much sleep. Hopefully there's a lot of coffee waiting for me at the airport. Good morning. It is 6.30 in Indianapolis, which means it is 3.30 at home. <laughs> I'm tired, yeah. I got about five hours of sleep. I actually slept a lot better than I thought I would. Uh, pickup is in about 15 minutes, so I have to head down there. Just doing a little bit of mascara today. <laughs> and then it's about an hour and 15 minute flight to Charlotte, which is fine. Hopefully that'll be drama free. And then deadhead home and I will sleep like this. <sighs> <laughs> on the flight, I guarantee that's what I look like. But I need a huge cup of coffee as big as my head and I think I'm gonna get that at the airport. So, gotta finish getting packed and then we're gonna head out. On a hunt for our known crew member and then coffee. Oh gosh, I need it so bad. All right, I made it on the plane. Got coffee. Oh man, what's going on with this? You know what, whatever. I was almost late because this took so long because I didn't mobile order ahead of time and I probably should have done that, but I was like thinking about it too much and I overthought it. So yeah, mobile order in plenty of time. And just like that, we are in Charlotte. That triple shot definitely helped keep me awake. Too bumpy to do a service, so I just sat there for an hour. And now it's time to get some food and head to the deadhead. Ah. Got a little sandwich from Jersey Mike's. I think sandwiches are the best plain food because they hold up, you know? And now I want to go find some sparkling water because I don't like the one we have on the plane. And then I'm going to go board. And then once I board, I'm going to change my clothes into something more comfortable because I'm allowed to wear normal clothes on a deadhead, 
but I have three bags, my tote bag, my luggage, and my lunch bag. And if I'm out of uniform on a deadhead, I can only bring two bags, but if I'm in uniform on a deadhead, I can bring three bags, but I can get on the plane and then change. So that's what I'm gonna do. Long story short, long story long. But I'm excited to be getting home today and early and then have two days off. I swear I have never been to Charlotte Airport when it wasn't just absolutely insanely crowded, always just <laughs> bursting at the seams with people. But I'm gonna head over to my gate and board. We just landed, what? And I may or may not have spent all five hours watching TikToks. I did not sleep, which I thought I was going to. <laughs> back to the California beach weather, yay! Uh, I'm happy to be back. I haven't checked traffic yet. Hopefully it's not too bad yet. Rush hour in LA is really like rush five hours. <laughs> All right, I am in my car and I'm going to head home now to see the husband and the cats, which I'm super excited about. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you made it all the way to the end, you might as well hit that subscribe button. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up. That really helps to support me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Kelly from The Awkward Flight Attendant. Peace out. Ah, come on, I'm stuck. Ah! <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for what? Thanks for much. <laughs> Thanks for much of your attention. <laughs>